and we're the same. And we have the same love. 100%, like, I've never fallen out of love with you. I just put it over here. Jennifer Lopez finally files for divorce from Ben Affleck, something we all saw coming for a long time, but in the end, a lot of major twists to this story. Like, it's not nobody noticing that. That everybody else that's left her, oh, she was too this, she was this, she was that. But then he said she was perfect. And he's the only one that said she was a great girlfriend and how he wished he hadn't messed it up. How is that the only man in her life that had regrets about their relationship but everybody else ran for the hill? The whirlwind romance between Ben Affleck and Jennifer Lopez, often dubbed Benifer, was one of the most iconic Hollywood love stories after rekindling their relationship in 2021. Nearly two decades after their initial engagement, many fans were thrilled to see the couple finally tie the knot, however. Just as fast as their romance reignited, the flames seemed to have fizzled out, leaving everyone wondering what went wrong. Recent reports suggest that the couple's relationship has been plagued by issues that neither of them can ignore anymore. Everybody else, I work harder and harder and harder and harder. And when everybody's sleeping, I'm doing more. Jennifer Lopez has been blamed for the breakdown of her fourth marriage to Oscar winner Ben Affleck. But a new report now suggests that the Batman A-lister was the one who actually threw in the towel. Many were shocked when the couple spun the block after they were unable to make it down the aisle while dating in the early 2000s. They got back together in 2021 and married in 2022. But now they are headed for divorce court. A purported tipster reportedly told In Touch Weekly that Lopez will never forgive her ex for abandoning their relationship and not trying to work it out this time around. Despite efforts to keep things civil for the sake of their children, she also reportedly feels let down by how Affleck's stance since she filed for divorce on AUG. 20. The ben Affleck has reportedly opened up about the reasons behind his decision to call it quits and the answers might surprise you from personal clashes to professional differences, it seems that the reasons for their split are far more complex than anyone could have predicted. An unnamed source gave more details about the family outing to the Beverly Hills Hotel and what really happened. The person suggested that the Love Don't Cost a Thing singer was trying to be civil for the children. Affleck's children with Jennifer Garner Finn, 15 years old, and Samuel, 12 years old, and Lopez's twins, Max and Emmy, 16, with singer Mark Anthony during their Septi 14 brunch. They were all spotted at the Beverly Hills Hotel, where Lopez and Affleck were seen holding hands and exchanging kisses, but her husband continued to have a somber and sour disposition. Jennifer would never make a scene in public, especially in front of their kids, but she has so much resentment in touch, reported its anonymous mouthpiece said. She's made it plain she'll never forgive Ben for being such a cold-hearted jerk and giving up on the marriage in such a savage manner. Affleck's public and private acts in recent months haven't helped ease the situation by not taking responsibility for his part in the demise of their marriage. Over the summer, the heir actor moved out of their over $60 million estate into a $100,000 a month rental. And by July, he had purchased a $20 million home. One of the key reasons for the breakdown of their relationship appears to be Jennifer Lopez's obsession with turning their love life into a media spectacle. Jennifer Lopez and Ben Affleck are revealing the real reason behind their 2003 breakup. Jen and Ben, who broke off their engagement in 2003 before rekindling their romance nearly two decades later, are finally sharing insight into why they called off their first wedding. J-Lo shares details in her new documentary, The Greatest Love Story Never Told, now streaming on Amazon Prime Video, saying, quote, Ben and I, we broke up three days before our wedding. We had a big wedding planned. 14 ushers and bridesmaids, and three days before, we just crumbled under the pressure. Ben echoes the statement, saying that the real reason behind their split was, quote, the massive amount of scrutiny around our private life. However, the couple goes on to agree that calling off their first wedding led them each on a self-discovery journey, and eventually back together again when they reconnect it in 2021. While J-Lo is no stranger to the spotlight her career has been built on it, Ben Affleck is far more private sources close to the couple have revealed that Ben became increasingly uncomfortable with how much of their personal life was being used for J-Lo's recent multimedia projects. You hesitate at all? Yep. Um... I mean, I feel like along the way, I was hesitant, you know, it's like stutter stepping the whole way, knowing that I wanted to go forward, knowing that I had this tremendous impulse and kind of like drive to, to say something like I had not wanted to say in my whole life. 
you know, I just in my, in being an artist and even in growing up, like I've never wanted to kind of share something in that way, the way I did when I got back together with Ben and we started making this album and I have some of my team here who made the album with us. Um, but it was just very clear to me that I had to, one, make this music because it was just kind of very organically pouring out of me what um, I wanted to say about love and what I had discovered and what I wanted to share. And then in that kind of revisiting the 20 years in between was inevitable. And so as that started happening, you know, you start realizing there's so much more to the story to tell than just the music and just the movie. There's even more than that, right? And so, and it became kind of a quest of like, I have to do this. I have to get this done. Jennifer recently launched her album, This Is Me Now, along with a massive 20 million self-financed campaign that included a documentary, The Greatest Love Story Never Told, which detailed their rekindled romance. This was a big deal, I think, for Ben. He was watching me make the music and was, you know, kind of stunned, like, oh my God, you're in there making music every day. You wrote that song today and that song today. And, that song. and I was like, yeah, we did. We did this. We're making this music. I'm very inspired right now. I don't think he ever thought again that it would lead to the Amazon original and all of this kind of like film and doc and all that kind of stuff. But he embraced it as well and saw it happening. And again, kind of very in from a natural organic way said, I'm going to support you. You're an artist. I see what's happening. I, I know what it feels like to have that impulse because he's such a great writer and director and actor and, you know, producer. Happy. This isn't about me and you. But we take that out. That is not part of this script. <laughs> the 70s are light handheld. I don't care. No. Right now, it just sucks. sucks. No, it doesn't suck. That's <laughs> wrong. That's wrong. That's just an experience that you haven't done this process before. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. If I was doing a musical I concert, the when I, was I was doing a rock old. show, I will say to you, tell me how this goes. Are you usually afraid of what you're afraid before? And so he felt what was happening. And, you know, when somebody loves you in that way, they just want you to, to fly. And I think that's what he, he really allowed me to do with it. While fans were eager to get an inside look at Ben's love story, Ben was reportedly far from thrilled the documentary's title is based on a scrapbook he gifted J-Lo in 2021 filled with 20 years worth of their letters and emails, but Ben didn't want something so deeply personal to be shared with the world to insiders. Ben was shocked when J-Lo shared the scrapbook with her producers and collaborators without asking for his permission. She reportedly treated it like a Bible during the, the making of her album, leaving it out in the studio for everyone to see. Ben made his discomfort clear during the first few minutes of the documentary, but it was too late the damage was already done. That first day I showed everybody this book. This book is a book that Ben gave me on our first Christmas back together. It is every letter and every email that we wrote to each other from 20 years ago and today. It became like our Bible and we just left it there in the studio and people would thumb through it. They're like, can we look at it? I was like, look at it. First off, who does that? Like, I, like this guy gets boyfriend of the year as far as I'm concerned. And get this, Ben got a nickname in the studio because of his sweet gift. It's like you, you've been showing all the musicians all those letters that, ah, uh, and they were like, yeah, we, we call you Penn Affleck. And I was like, oh my God. You know, this project was something I didn't really plan. It was really inspiration, like being inspired. Um, to make music for the first time like that in 20 years. Um, so you can imagine what the inciting incident was. One major factor in their split is J-Lo's ongoing connection with Shaw Diddy Combs. Even though their romantic relationship ended years ago, it's rumored that J-Lo and Diddy remain close, which has made Ben uncomfortable. J-Lo and the artist formerly known as Puffy were so hot and heavy, but I don't think this is why Jennifer Lopez is acting a little wonky. I think she's just out of touch. So let's set the scene and walk down memory lane. 1997, Biggie was unalive, and we all knew who Puff Daddy was. Later that same year, Puffy's solo album comes out, and the song Can't Nobody Hold Me Down with Mace is at the top of the chart. Around this time, he's with Kim Porter. The same year, 1997, J-Lo does Selena, and it is a breakout role for her. 
like, yeah, she did Money Train and I think she did Anaconda later, but this was her big break. She also divorces her first husband, Ohani Noah. 1999, Puff Daddy is at his peak. J-Lo releases her first album, On The Sick, and then they debut as a couple. They're both from New York, she's from the Bronx, he's from Harlem. People can't get enough of them. They are quite literally the it couple. They're doing red carpets together, they're at fashion shows, they're throwing parties, they're always dressed to him. This alleged tape reportedly recovered during recent raids on Diddy's properties is said to show compromising footage of J-Lo from years ago. Sug Knight recently discussed how the FBI may have handed over the footage to Affleck leading to his decision to divorce Lopez. This isn't the first time a J-Lo sex tape has surfaced back in the late 90s rumors of a tape involving J-Lo and Diddy sparked legal action. The lawsuit was settled quietly, but rumors of its existence have lingered, adding fuel to the fire. Sug Knight claims J-Lo's connection to Diddy may go beyond just a past romance, allegedly they remained in contact even after Lopez married a Fleck with some sources suggesting she might be helping Diddy with legal matters. Knight's theory is that upon seeing the tape, Affleck could no longer look at Lopez the same way fueling his decision to end their marriage. They go raid Puffy's house. And they get all these videos of J-Lo doing this and J-Lo doing that. And they know the fact that J-Lo lied and said that the gun was signed or whatever. That man just quickly destroyed his life and she made his puff. I'm quite sure they probably called the, the FBI gave respect and a courtesy call of being after that. It's a white man who got respect in the white world. I'm quite sure they said, we want to show you some things. It's about your wife. When he sees this shit that her and Puffy was doing and who they were doing it with, I'm quite sure they gave him those tapes. And I'm quite sure he could never look at her the same. I'm quite sure they had for divorce. Because, <laughs> you know, that's a man who had a good life. Great parents, don't spend a lot of money. Ain't tripping our pocket lots of living his life. He got his own, he got his own team. She done brought all the extra shit to that motherfucker. We want out. We keep, he stayed married to the channel, he be broke. Instead of just doing movies, he be doing yum yum donuts commercials. Next thing he be doing is Jack in the Box commercials. <laughs> Whether or not the tape exists, the ongoing fallout from Diddy's legal troubles and J-Lo's connection to him seems to have been too much for Affleck to handle. In the end, the story of Benefer 2 Pro seems to have fallen apart due to a combination of personal differences, professional clashes, and the pressure of living life in the spotlight. Now it's clear that Benefer has reached its final chapter. That's it for now. Don't forget to tell us what you think in the comments below. For more updates, hit the bell icon.